Today's tutorial is inspired by uh, Tara G.P. Henson. Golden Globe's uh, look was very simple, very much like the makeup that I like to rock when I'm like, not being lazy, but like when my outfit just has a lot going on. Like you know, you sometimes you wear those outfits that have like all the colors in the book, like all the colors in the rainbow, and you're like, what am I gonna do to my eyes and my lips? So this look is like so simple. Promise you, you can even rock it with the like a very chill, you know, nude outfit. It's just one of those looks that's it's like the simple, basic look that I feel like everyone can do. Like it's so simple to get, like even if you don't like know how to do like eyeshadow work, this is like perfect for you. So yeah, I just wanted to, you know, emulate that. And obviously I don't have the hair she was rocking because I got braids right now. But um, you know, I just wanted to emulate the face, the makeup look, and you know, I try to wear like a white top, <laughs> so it kind of goes with the theme. But yeah, so it's just basically very nude, you know, very simple. I didn't even do a wing eyeliner, guys. Y'all know how I am about my wing eyeliner, and I don't have a wing eyeliner on right now. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. You know, for my current subscribers, welcome back. Y'all know how we roll on here. And for people who are watching or not subscribed, you should totally subscribe. Just click the subscribe button and it will take you right to the subscription page. And you guys follow me on my social media. I have Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. They all have the same social media name, Y8 underscore BZ. And I will see you guys in my next tutorial. Also, just a little reminder, guys, all the products that I use on my face, are all linked in the description box. Even if I don't show my foundation routine and my you know, highlight and contour routine, everything I use on my face for each video is in my description box. All the products are linked with the like the website where you can buy it. So you know I'm trying to be as informative as possible so you guys can go crazy shopping. But basically, if you have a question about what's on my face, it's in the description box. Okay, so right now I I've applied primer. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this like on a lot of um, bloggers or YouTubers um, pages and stuff. Um, it's basically men's aftershave post bomb but it's like good primer and honestly you can actually use this alone especially during the winter. Go over it a little bit with my Tarte um, primer. Apply on my T-zone. I wouldn't advise using the Nivea um, Pulse Shade Balm. I wouldn't advise using it with um, Milk of Magnesia because I actually realized that when I do that, it gives a very chalky, um, like, and it gives like crumbs. Just gonna apply my uh, Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation, shade 178. So I'm just gonna take some and apply in my trouble areas. I didn't color correct today because, you know, I don't feel the need to. Next, I'm going to go in with um, my Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Cream Contour Palette and I'm going to go in with the third shade which is Cinnamon. I'm going to go in with Cinnamon right here. And then for my nose, this pointed uh, blending brush.
Next, I'm gonna go in with Morocco, which is this nice, pretty brown. And I'm just gonna swoop it across here, just to give it. Her eyes were soft already, so yeah. I'm just gonna try and keep it that soft. Then I'm gonna go in with Fudge. She's still using the same brush, by the way. This is a e.l.f. blending brush. Fudge is a really nice brown. Just gonna sweep that across the bottom lash line. Create a V in there. The tiniest dot of Noor, which is right here in the black. It's a matte black. And just put it down there in the lash line. As I said, the smallest amount for my lid I'm just gonna go in with Bellini without any um like extra primer or anything because as I said her makeup was so soft like this um this part of the shadow work wasn't made to like pop it was just made to just like be muted in there and then just to make the top pop a little I'm just gonna use a little bit of soft peach so I'm using this under my eyebrow this is probably like the most neutral look I've ever done in my life <laughs> ever and I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of soft peach and just blend this part in She did not have, a, I don't believe she had a wing liner. Y'all know how I feel about my wing liner. But she has no wing liner. And then for eyeliner, I'm gonna go in with my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. Her eyes weren't too dark. So right now I'm gonna apply lashes. It doesn't look like she had like very dramatic lashes. I think my red cherry lashes in 213 should be fine. So I'm just gonna apply that off camera and I'm like after applying my falsies, I'm just gonna blend them in with my mascara. And this is the Lorac Multiplex 3D lashes. Okay, so next thing I'm just gonna take my foundation brush and I'm just gonna sweep away any excess powder. Both that in. Next, I'm just gonna go in with my contour brush and my um, finishing powder from MAC, MAC Realize Skin Finish in Dark Deep. I'm just gonna sweep it across my under eye. I'm going to go in with an e.l.f. Um, complexion brush and just blend everything in. I'm just gonna bronze my face just a little bit using my um, CoverGirl bronzer in Ebony Bronze. Next, I'm gonna go in with highlighter and I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Illuminator in Peach Nectar blush brush from e.l.f. My um, ColourPop um, Cheek Shocker in, or Super Shock Cheek in Sticky Sweet. For her lips, I, I saw a couple pictures in her uh, for this look, and one of them, her lips are matte, and then the other, her lip is glossy. So I'm thinking what happened was it was glossy, and then it became matte as the day went on. So I'm gonna start out with. Um, Expresso by NYX, and this is a lip liner. Next, I'm going to go with my uh, lip liner from MAC. This is in Spice. 
And I'm just going to apply this. Basically apply it all over. And then go back in with Espresso. Lightly. So, since I applied lip balm under my uh, lip liner, it's not giving it a super matte look, but it's giving it a uh, like a sheen, it's giving a sheen to it and the lip um, balm that I applied was this uh, Ro uh, C Bigelow lip balm. You get this at Ulta, you can also get this at Sephora and I got this one from Nordstrom Rack for $5.50. I think at Ulta and Sephora it's like $8 or $9. You save yourself a couple dollars. And then I'm just going to apply finishing spray and I'm using my Urban Decay All Nighter. You gon' have to do more than just You gon' have to do less for you So mommy, you know how high Oh, it's more to do You gon' have to do more than just You gon' have to do less for you So mommy, you know how high Is inspired? 